Hey, I'm Josh, and this is day three of my trip to the Dominican Republic for the Encuentro Dominicano Great Trip. So we just finished with our first reflection session, which um, was just mainly talking about people we want to dedicate this trip to. And there were some very um, heartfelt ones for sure. People would get up, light a candle, set it down, and then tell the rest of us who they wanted to dedicate it to. So it's a very good first reflection. So I'm off to find people. Uh, I've already walked like through the entire compound and haven't seen anybody from, well, anybody from my group. So it's like, uh, where did everybody end up? This, we're currently on a break before lunch. Uh, this morning we had a class where Margarita was just talking mainly about uh, culture shock and what's what it is, how it works, you know, just making it easier for us to understand what's going on and to better adapt. After that, we went to a, uh, a money exchange place where people who brought U.S. money could exchange it for about 45 pesos to the dollar. I just withdrew money from the ATM yesterday, so I'm good. So it's just been fun, pretty much, lately. Now that we're on break, I've been working on creating the intro for these videos, or for my videos. It's taken way too long, I just basically scrapped what I had and I'm remaking it. Or almost done remaking it. I even found some people playing volleyball. Let's go have a look. Lunch, and then another intro class. This one just being the rules of ILAC and what's expected of us and suggestions and stuff like, you know, don't go riding on a motorcycle, don't hang out of the guagua, don't, uh, all the do's and don'ts, you know, not trying, uh, not trying to be restrictive over what we're, we can do, but just trying to protect us and protect I like his name. After Kat's intro class was the first Spanish class. Now that was <laughs> interesting. He came in profe and you know started talking in Spanish kind of slowly. And then he said, and he said in Spanish that he was only going to speak in Spanish. And then he broke into English and like told a joke. So he, he's a really cool guy. Um, after his brief intro. He uh, uh, brought us out one by one and talked to us for like four or five minutes. Just asked us questions about us, you know, trying to gauge our Spanish level. Somehow it got worked into talking a little bit about how Spanish is taught typically in the United States, how it's grammar, 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 uh, conversation. And then he's like, no, it's, it needs, should be conversation, 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 grammar. Really cool talking to him and having a class. Then we went into the eating area, the dining room, and uh, he taught us how to play Dominican domo dominoes in Spanish. He, he's a very interactive teacher and really wants you to learn practical things. So I'm going to really enjoy that class. After class it was an hour of free time. Lots of people went to go to tryouts for volleyball. I'm, I'm unsure if I'm going to do volleyball or not. I might later. We came to the library and ended up playing some card games. Some court, cultural card games for groups. Each of us got a game, but what we didn't know was that it had different rules. Each of us had gotten a slightly different set of rules. And then the winners would switch. So they would switch and no one was allowed to talk either. It was still fun and still made the point of people coming to new cultures and just the differences they encounter and what they need to do in order to actually understand what the norm is. We played 
Mafia, and I got singled out right away, even though it wasn't me. And then I gotta just watch them. It's a, it's a fun game. I just wish I could actually play it. Yeah. So it doesn't scare you. Very game. Somebody owed a really big debt to the mafia. They like gambling around the casinos, and they had like debt that they couldn't pay. Um, and they like stole all their assassin to kill. Oh, really? Shannon was on to something, too. Shannon was too logical. By the time we finished, it was really late, so a lot of people just went outside and hung out. A few went down to the store to grab some snacks. I stayed in here with a few others, and we played, uh, we played spoons. Lots of people like hanging out in this room back here because uh, <laughs> it has air conditioning. A few rooms has air conditioning. So people go in there, sit, turn on the AC, talk, work on stuff. Tomorrow is another busy day. This be Josh, signing out.